Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the bomber build, and as you guys can see, it is actually looking pretty sick. I would say this is actually looking really, really cool. So, uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to try and figure out where to put the wings. Now, unfortunately, it's not really as straightforward as I want it to be, because uh, I don't really know where I want the wings to go. We could either have them on the top, the middle, or on the bottom, uh, and either would actually, any of those would actually look fine. Uh, with that being said as well, I don't know where the engines should go, because I, I, I genuinely don't know what engines I want to use. Uh, because we could either go with jet engines, or we could go with turboprop engines, or we could just go with propeller engines, and that would be fine. But uh, I'm thinking turboprop engines is where I want to be. I want to use turboprop engines. So we're going to try and figure out where the wings are going to go, and then we're going to go ahead and attempt it. Yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so the way that I see it is currently the actual horizontal stabilizers are actually on the middle, uh, technically like really close to the bottom. Uh, if I was to do this the way that I would want to do it, which is actually a top mounted wing, uh, I would have to move that upwards. It would actually have to go all the way up to the top of there. Now with that being said, I don't know how that's going to work, so I think what we should do is actually try that out first uh, and see what that actually looks like, um, yeah, first. So let's see. Okie dokie, so we're gonna have to grab all of this and hopefully all will go well. So grab it literally from there all the way into... Well, actually all the way into wherever this is, so about there. There we go, excellent. Uh, and realistically, I actually need to grab... I need to grab all of this, right? I need to grab all of this uh, and move this upwards. Okay, so somewhat like... Like this, I guess. Yeah, sure, like that. There we go, excellent. It would then have to move inwards, and also backwards quite a distance, to about there. Yeah, now that's pretty weird. But I think I want to roll with it, so let's try that. There we go, excellent. I would then move these guys, and hope that all of this would work. So let's grab these next. There we go, this all the way down to here, and all of these as well. Go ahead and cut this. Move it upwards. There we go, move it backwards. There we go as well, and move it in. There we go, excellent. So move this downwards, move it forwards until it hits, and there we go. Bam. Paste that there, merge it together. Bam, bam. Excellent. Okay, so this is pretty good. We're then going to delete this guy. We're going to grab this color, and we're going to do this thing. And we're going to merge this with this. Okay, excellent. So far, so good. I think that's fine. It looks a bit weird, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Okie dokie, so this is the next thing. We're going to go ahead and grab all of these, make sure it's all connected, and copy it. Actually, no, wait, cut it. We want to cut it. Cut it, there we go, move it upwards. There we go, excellent. Move it backwards, and we want it in the exact same location as this one on the other side, uh, for reasons. So there we go, attach that directly under there, paste it on, excellent. Merge the right bit with the right bit, excellent as well, and hopefully connect the rest of it as well. I'm sure this will look okay in the end, maybe. Alright, so there we go, go ahead and paste that right there, merge it on, and there we go, right, so spawn this in, see what that actually looks like. Alright, it looks pretty weird, but we'll see. So, custom menu, we're gonna go for infinite fuel, infinite electricity. So they're actually angled upwards. I feel like if they're up there, they need to actually angle downwards, which is just the opposite direction. So maybe that'll be fine. Alright, let's go and try and figure out where this is actually connected to. There, so we'll just take away, or add a minus. Bam, there we go, spawn it in. Kind of interesting. I mean, I think I like it, but at the same time, it's pretty weird. I'm not sure. I really don't know about that. All right, you know what? I've actually gone back to this. I'm going to leave it just like this for right now, because honestly, I feel like this actually looks pretty good as is. And I feel like when I lifted these up, this seemed too small. And honestly, because my plane isn't so wide, like it's not a chunky plane, uh, it feels weird to have this lifted up to there. And it would be weird to have a large... Wing on the roof, on the on the top. So what I'm actually thinking is we go somewhat lower than this, the midpoint, uh, and start building our wing out of here. I think that's probably, oh maybe even just literally here. I think that would be fine. So let's build a wing onto it and see what we can make it look like, and hopefully it'll look good. Maybe. Okie dokie, so we're going to start pretty far forwards, I would say, and we're going to go with uh, long, wide wings. We're actually going to go with these guys. Uh, and we're going to send it backwards from about... 
Uh, here, all right, cool, we'll go with there, and we're going to send it all the way out to the edge. Now, honestly, I don't think that's going to be quite long enough for my plane, uh, which is unfortunate. So we might need to add an extra bit to this wing that folds down after we get out the hangar. So that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. So if that's like that, that seems pretty good. Uh, we would then have to use other bits and bobs to make this bit go out pretty much exactly the same way. Almost. I don't know how this would work, actually. I want it to somewhat meet up with it. So, realistically, maybe if we did this... No. Oh god, I don't know. I'm not very good at plain wings. I'm really not. I want it to look good, though. I really want it to look nice. Alright, I deleted all that because I'm not entirely sure I want it to look that way. I, I feel like there's a few different wings that we could use. A few people actually said a delta wing. Now, if we did do a delta wing, we can still keep this tail. It is allowed. It is actually allowed. Uh, however, I'm not sure it'd look good with that sort of situation. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and figure out how to make this look nice. Uh, while also just, I don't know, playing around. So let's just do a few different wing designs. Uh, and I guess we'll see what it looks like from there. So, we're going to start off using these pieces, which is pretty strange. We're going to have it come backwards like this. Okay, excellent. And then we'll have it go, like, out sideways from there, which seems weird. But at the same time, I think we can do it. So, I think the way we would do it is we actually need a 2x2. Two two. All right, delete this. Get ourselves a 2x2, two two, which is this. Put it right there like, like that. Excellent. And then have it go out sideways from there, maybe. So do this, and have it go sideways from there just a little bit. And I feel like that could actually look pretty sick. However, at the same time, I'm not entirely sure it will look good. I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Um, how about we delete most of this? We have it go into a 2x2 two two section, like this, that still goes backwards. I don't know how far backwards that should actually go, but sure. We go backwards a little bit. And then we'll send it out sideways from there, uh, like this, and maybe that'll look cool. But who knows? I really don't know. There we go. That could actually look sick. If we did it right, and if we made this look good, I think this could look amazing. That could actually look pretty cool. I just really don't know what to do with the back end. I really don't know what to do with the back end. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Or where the engines go, actually. I don't know where they should go either, to be fair. I'm not sure. Okay, so a few of these planes and stuff like this actually have wings that somewhat just stop, if that makes sense. They actually are in pretty much a straight line. Uh, and I might be able to get that to work. Somebody did actually mention doing like a, a sweep wing design. Uh, so that actually this would be able to either go out and extend the way it is. Or it can actually be stowed like backwards uh, for higher speeds. I don't think I'm going to do that, to be totally honest with you, but... I'm going to delete most of this, we're going to get a wing, and we're going to see if I can just, I don't know, somewhat make this look nice. I, I, mm, we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here like so, alright, and have it go pretty much all the way to the end. And then we'll end up putting wings on, sorry, engines on afterwards, uh, and trying to figure that out. But for now, we're just going to send this all the way out to the edge. There we go, literally all the way. There we go, excellente. We're almost there. We are almost there. There we go. Good. And then on the very end one, we just need to do this and this, I think. In fact, actually, it's just there. All right, do this and wham, and then do this. Hold on. Bam. Okay, excellent. So that looks weird, but does it look that weird? Does it actually look super strange or not? Yeah, it looks weird. I'm not sure I like it. I'm really not sure I like it. There must be a way of me to make, like, of making this look a little bit better. There must be. There has to be a way of making this look a little bit better. But I'm not sure what it is. I really don't know what it is. Yeah, so there has to be something that I can do to this that will make it look a little bit better. So what I'm thinking is that maybe we actually put this on the end like this. And we actually send it inwards like this. However, that takes it in way too far. Uh, so, if we made it a little bit bigger... Let's say down to there, for example. We then put this piece on here like this, and we do this. Upwards to a set, like to a set point. Alright, so keep this going. Uh, as far as we want it to go, which I'm not sure how far that is, to be fair, but we go upwards like this. As soon as we get to a set point, 
We can actually then send it back out. Like so. And attach that under there. And then that will look weird to begin with. But at the same time, it might look cool in the end. I don't know. Attach all these together. Fill all this section in. Fill all this section in. And... I mean, that does look pretty cool, but it still looks like it should be a sweep wing instead of whatever's going on here. Sag. Really Sag. I think we've got a good design, though. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. I think the fact that this piece just goes backwards just like this is a bit annoying uh, in my brain. So we're actually just going to go ahead and fit this under here like this uh, and send that all the way backwards to there, which, yes, is strange. This is very, very weird, but we're all about being a little bit strange here, so... I think that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a weird design, and it might work. It might work out for us. We still need engines as well, so it's going to change a little bit, but for now, I think that's actually pretty cool. I think that's really cool, actually. I like it. Right, okay, so I'm looking at it a little bit more, and I'm actually thinking that this bit actually goes out far too much. Uh, yeah, maybe, or it needs to go out further. Like, the wing itself needs to be bigger, or this piece is actually wrong. So, realistically, if I deleted this for now, uh, we delete most of this until we hit a point like this bit, alright? And we delete, let's say that. We'll attach these guys onto there like so. Delete this bit. Delete that bit. Fill this in. There we go. So, so far, so good. That looks a little bit better. Delete most of this, and then have this bit uh, join up with that if we can. So, do this. Into there. Or... No, that, that does kind of work. Yeah, cool. Uh, delete this all the way backwards to there, and fill it in with this guy instead. So we'll just move it a little bit further up, if that makes sense. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. And attach all of those together. It looks weird, but I think I like it. Honestly, I really do think I like it. As soon as you put engines and stuff on this, I think it'll work out for us. Maybe. Alright, so with that being said, we'd actually have to put some, like, uh, control surfaces into this as well. Uh, we'd have to figure out what's going on here. We'll have to figure out where the engines go, uh, and stuff like that. Honestly, this piece doesn't make much sense either, to be fair. So we'll delete this, uh, and that, and most of this. Delete this entire section. Because the bump just makes no sense. There's no reason to have it, because it's all the same shape anyway. So we'd do that all the way down to there, and then we'd replace... The two by two, and just put it there. Bam. There we go. So that actually fixes the front bit a little bit more as well. It's a little bit more of a steep angle. It just looks a bit strange. To me, it looks weird, and I'm not sure how to fix it. I really don't know. Also, I do kind of feel like some of it should be angled, and I'm not sure which bit, but uh, maybe just this extra, extra bit right here should be angled in some sort of direction. So we'll actually delete these. We'll get ourselves a pivot. And we'll try and angle them and see what it looks like. So, uh, put that in there like that. Uh, we'll grab... Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. We're going to grab all of this from here to the end, to the tip. There we go. Cut it and paste it. We're going to press U. We're going to take it to the other side. And we're going to paste it there as well. So, paste this here. All right. Merge this with this. And the same on the other side. This with this. And then give them... Some power, or an actual angle, there we go, to go to, and that should be pretty cool. Go. Alright, so they're angled upwards. Is that strange? Is that strange to angle my wings upwards? I think it is. I think it's a bit weird. I don't know, though. Maybe. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling like the wings should be angled downwards instead, but we'll see. So delete most of this. There we go, we're good. Delete these guys and delete that. We're going to grab another one of these, put it there. We're going to have it be 0.05. 0.05. Five, and we're going to make it a minus. Minus 0 0.05. And we're going to send it to these guys. So it'll angle themselves down, but only a little bit. Yeah, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting indeed. I think I like it. Honestly, I really do think I like it. I feel like the wings need to be a little bit bigger, though. But the whole fact that we've got so much wing area here, so much surface area... Uh, means that the wings don't actually have to be as long because they're a little bit wider, if that makes sense. They're they're bigger because I've made them longer, uh, so they don't have to be wider, uh, which, yeah, does make sense. So we're going to actually continue these out until we uh, reach the end, because we might as well. There we go, somewhat like that, very good. 
And then we're going to continue this bit out as well until we reach the end also. Um, because again, we probably should. And delete these guys. Fix all of this together, like so. And do this as well. Bam. There we go. That now makes them look way too long, I think. Spawn it in. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it looks okay. Let's get this in the sky, and we'll see what it looks like from the air. Because it might look different. Maybe. Okie dokie, so we're in the sky, let's have a little look, see what it looks like from here, and honestly, that actually looks pretty cool, to be fair. It does, it looks interesting. Uh, so we've obviously got like, it looks a bit like a B1, in terms of the wing shape, but it doesn't move the wings at all, they don't move. Uh, and honestly, I think this is actually a pretty sick shape. As soon as we get some depth to a little bit of it, this bit's gonna be raised and lowered a little bit, we'll have, um, stuff going on on top of the wing as well. Uh, we'll also have engines put on here somewhere as well, and honestly, I think that'll be pretty cool. I'm also thinking that uh, adding like a little bit of a stick to the back of this might be pretty cool as well, but I don't know. So yeah, I think. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys what you guys think of this, uh, and then we'll figure out where the engines are going to go because they could be mounted mounted on the wing, they could be mounted under the wing, they could even be mounted on top of the wing. Uh, because I'm thinking propeller engines, I'm actually thinking push props would actually look pretty sick on the back end of the wing. Uh, but again, this wing shape sort of works with jet engines more. So we'll have to see with that. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this wing setup. I think it looks kind of interesting. Uh, and that's usually what I like. I like it being interesting and weird over normal, I guess. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool.